this is a recording of the registration procedure for an MS into the trunking controller. I'm going to turn the radio on now and it should start hunting and register on the control channel. Okay, so uh, basically you can see here that uh, the control channel has received the registration request and also sent uh, the registration confirmation to the radio. So the radio is now registered. So I can now place a phone call and I've marked uh, the first payload channel as busy so that I can get the call on the second uh, payload channel. Uh, here I have uh, DSD FME listening to the control channel and I should see the voice call coming through now. Okay, so I've uh, received a channel grant uh, for uh, uh, the, um, um, uh, the voice call which went to the second uh, MNDVM uh, instance and uh, here is the um, uh, channel grant on the, seven, uh, on the second MNDVM instance. Let's see if uh, I can get the voice to come through. Testing. 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 Test one. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. And uh, voice call. And uh, voice call. Okay, so now I'm going to end the voice call uh, from DMS. As you can see, that was the P main uh, CSBK, and uh, then received uh, from the trunking controller the P clear, which uh, marks uh, the channel as clear. I'm not sure why exactly here the channel is not marked as uh, clear, but anyway, I can repeat uh, the procedure. So you see, uh, now the second channel is marked as active.